Hey everybody, this is Chad with quadquestions.com. Today we're going to go over how to wire a GPS compass to your Naze 32 Rev 6. Uh, the particular GPS that we're using here is a Hollybro GPS slash compass. Uh, it's available in our web store at quadquestions.com. Uh, it does use an M8N GPS inside, which we think is the best right now. Definitely works the best out of all the other ones. Um, First, I want you to come in here and take a look at the wiring. The way I have this wired, we've run 5 volts from this pin and our ground here. You can also run those, if you're using those for a receiver, you can also run those off of an auxiliary, uh, one of your servo ports there, 5 or 6 if you're flying a quad. Next, you need to make sure your TX and RX wires are going to pins 3 and 4. You want, on this particular unit, you want the yellow wire to go to pin 3 and the green wire to go to pin 4. Once you have those connected, and I went ahead and just soldered them straight on the pins because we think that's the best way to do it. It's the most secure. But once you have that wired up, you can go ahead and plug your NAS board in uh, and go ahead and connect. You do not need to connect this other one that's coming off of here. This is for your magnetometer and you already have one of those built into the NAS board so we're just going to leave that disconnected for now. Next, you're going to connect in clean flight, like I've done here. Your board should light up. You're going to go to your ports tab. And right here, this is what you want to turn on. You want to turn the GPS on, and you want to turn it on with a baud rate of 115-200. So I'm going to click on that, enable GPS right here. I'm then going to save and reboot. So I've saved and rebooted. Next, I'm going to go to the Configurations tab. We're going to scroll down to the bottom here. And in the Configurations tab, you're going to turn GPS on. You're going to also make sure that the protocol is set to U-Blocks. Because this is a U-Blocks GPS, you want Auto Detect on, the ground assistance type. I've got zero for the magnetometer declination. You're going to then save and reboot again. To be safe, I always like to just go ahead and disconnect the board, make sure the battery's disconnected, reconnect. Now let's go back to our ports tab, make sure that that kept, that setting is still there, so that's good. I'm going to go to the configuration tab, scroll down, make sure that still all looks good, and it does. So once you have all of that set up, the only other thing you're going to need to do is plug in your battery. As you'll see, when you plug that in, this green light is flashing, green light on the compass is on, indicating it has power, and if we wait just a little bit longer, you're going to start to see the blue light flash. Sometimes it takes a second, just needs to get some satellites. There we go, the GPS lit up in clean flight. We're going to go down here to the GPS tab, it's going to then show whether we have satellites or not, and since we are in our warehouse here, away we're not near any windows, probably won't get any satellites, but that is how you activate it. When you activate it and you do have satellites, this blue light's going to come on and you should be all good to go. Hey everybody, this is Chad with quadquestions.com. We have moved outdoors because we were not able to get a 3D fix or any satellites indoors. You will most likely have the same problem. So I suggest moving outdoors to test this out. Our GPS is all set up, should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and connect to Clean Flight. We have Auto Connect selected. We are now connected and you can see the GPS light is not on yet. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this battery in. And we're going to need to wait a few minutes. We have a green light indicating the GPS has power. And our blue light is now also flashing which indicates we have a 3D fix. One very important thing I want to mention is you definitely don't ever want to arm your quad and take off until you have a 3D fix. If you try to take off without a 3D fix, it's going to do some funky things, especially if you try to do a return to home. Uh, it's going to return to wherever it got a 3D fix, which could be in the air partway through your flight. You don't want that to happen. So our GPS is working now. 
it's lit up here on the screen right here. The GPS icon is green and lit up. We have, if you look over in the GPS tab here, we have 15 satellites. So that's great. It's got a great signal. We're now ready to go ahead and fly. So we're all good to go. Everybody, that is how you connect the Hollybro M8N GPS compass in clean flight using a NAS32 Rev6 board. Thanks, and check out our website, quadquestions.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everything. We're out there. Come fly with us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.